Editors are the hidden power behind the best videos on YouTube. You might not know who they are, but thanks to them, we get to enjoy the kind of videos you watch on the screen of your phone or any other screen of your choosing. In today's video, I wanna talk about the role that the editors play in the creator economy, in the life cycle and the video, and what it would take to be hired as an editor or to hire an editor for yourself. Let's do this. Editors are a crucial link in the chain that starts with the idea behind the video and ends with you seeing that video on your sub screen in YouTube. Editors do not always participate in the ideation process, yet the creator will have to explain to them the idea behind the video. The editor will have to interpret that, then look at all the footage that has been recorded and figure out how to take that idea their interpretation and all those bits and pieces and end up with the actual cohesive video. The unique part about that relationship is that sometimes those video creators, they have the idea, they conceptually understand the kind of thought that they want to put and describe on the screen of your phone, but they're not really sure what the final video would look like and the editor will have to continuously interact with the creator and understand their style, their language, the way they want to describe some of those ideas and interpret them in a nice and a clean edit that you will enjoy watching. Without a good edit, the best video idea will flop and relatively mediocre idea might actually flourish. If you're interested in doing it full time, you will actually have multiple different avenues, whether you wanna go into the advertising and commercial world, whether you wanna continue in the creator world itself, or maybe you wanna go music videos or even the film industry and become a bigger and better editor that covers multiple different platforms. As an editor, you're also important if you just wanna do it part time and this is something you enjoy doing as a way to learn how to be a creator of your own or just to make some extra cash. To get better at being a video editor for the YouTuber, I recommend to you the following three individuals. Follow Hiller Smith. He's a great editor. He's an experienced guy who've been working with Logan Paul since the inception of the one's career. They've went through a lot and Hiller Smith is very outspoken about the role and the importance of the editors in the creator economy. Mo Saeed is another great editor. He is the one behind KSI. This guy is actually right now in between two fields. He's kind of slowly transitioning to being his own creator. Finally, Matthew Paquette. Matthew is a more technical editor. He talks a lot about different tools and vehicles by which you can create very unique cuts and visuals within your edits. He happens to be a former editor for Mati Hapoya, another example of the editor who worked and was mentored by a bigger creator to eventually go and find the path of their own. So if you're interested in this industry, you better go and subscribe to these three guys. Make sure you have one to two minutes of your best edits combined into a single video that you can send to potential clients. If you don't have it, maybe consider creating one full edit of a some kind, whether it's a content for someone else or the content for yourself. And if you're completely starting from scratch, you're just passionate, you've listened to someone like Killer Smith, it sounded exciting, you're trying to decide how can you enter this industry, then you should probably start practicing and learning more and more from YouTube. There are platforms like Skillshare, which is great, but it's paid, YouTube is free, and YouTube has plenty of content when it comes to learning how to be a good editor. So start there, practice, create a few dozen, hopefully maybe 100 plus different short videos to learn the process, to learn and gather enough of that material to create the reel, to then start pitching yourself. When it comes to the pitch, two places that I would recommend to go after. First and foremost, try LinkedIn. A lot of creators and their managers are currently residing on LinkedIn and they're actually searching for the professionals to join their teams on LinkedIn. So it's a great opportunity for you to go and explore and do a little bit of a job hunting. Twitter is an amazing place as well. A lot of creators actually post their job recs on Twitter. They share the link, you fill it out, they provide the form, they provide the requirements, they talk about the kind of editor they would want on the team. So you have a lot of opportunity to both interact with the creator, but also learn and apply for the kind of jobs that you might be most interested in. I'd say the editing style of the creator you're gonna be working with doesn't really matter, but it's worth understanding and watching some of their videos to just get a feel for the kind of requirements that they'll put on your plate and whether you'll actually enjoy them. Finally, Colin and Samir have a great newsletter, Publish Press. On the Publish Press, quite frequently, at the bottom of the newsletter, they share some of the job recs from over the creator economy. So it might be another one of those opportunities for you to find interesting vacancies throughout the world. And if you're a creative type, if you're someone like me who would go and show up in the middle of the street with the flyers to go and get someone to hire you, maybe do the following. Find a creator that you really like and you would wanna partner with. Find a video that you think you can edit better, download that video using whatever the tool you'll find and edit that video to your liking, to your style, to the way that you think it would benefit the creator and send it back to them. This is one of the best ways to get yourself 
in the door, get yourself into the discussion with the creator because you already demonstrated to them the kind of value you can provide. And if they found that new edit really enjoyable, who knows, they might come knocking. This market is still maturing when it comes to sharing transparently the compensation. And definitely based on your experience and the kind of creator you're working with, the pay may vary. To start, my big recommendation is skip any kind of like annual salary negotiations. Especially if this is the first time you're working with a particular creator, you're gonna be editing for them. Or if you're a creator who is hiring an editor, focus on the pay per video model. Figure out a couple of videos that you're gonna partner on together. Discuss in advance. How long do you anticipate the edit to take? how much you would charge or you would pay per hour of that edit and then decide if this is worth your time. I would also make sure there are very clear expectations in terms of the timelines and deliverables and the kind of end result that each of you expect. Be flexible, be understanding, learn from each other and eventually if you feel like there is something there and you two can work together, world is the oyster. At that point in time you can decide the final pay, the final structure and whether you will actually enjoy doing this for a few more years. Did you know anything about the editor roles in the creator economy? Did I answer all the questions that you had? And what are other professions from the creator economy you'd like me to talk about next? Share your thoughts, ideas, and suggestions in the section below. And the editor's job is never easy. You have to figure out that style. You have to figure out that way by which the creator feels like you're doing justice to the kind of content that they envisioned in their head when they came up with the idea. And for yourself, you want to make sure you creatively express yourself. I would caution you is that as an editor, your creative vision takes a backseat to the creator who you're working with. That's their channel. That's their final product. They should be making those calls. But ultimately, it's the kind of partnership that I think both parties can benefit from as long as there's very clear communication and set of expectations in front of you. And if you're curious to learn more about the creator economy and the kind of jobs that are in there, the kind of companies who work there, or the kind of creators who benefit and drive this industry forward, there are plenty of those stories on this channel because I'm here every Saturday and I'll see you next Saturday. Peace.